The moment we've all been waiting for, Oscar Brown to make his England debut and that actually might be happening in today's episode as he has finally been picked for the England squad and he'll be taking part in the upcoming friendlies against Norway and Sweden. Oscar's recent performances in the Premier League have not gone unnoticed. He scored a hat-trick against Bournemouth a few weeks ago and apart from that he is the current top scorer in the Premier League and that is why he's getting the opportunity to make his debut for the three lions. Usually for England, it's Marcus Rashford who gets the caller, but it seems like finally the coach Gareth Southgate is giving Oscar Brown the opportunity he deserves. We do know that Oscar Brown and Marcus Rashford don't really get along well, so interesting to see him not get picked at all for these upcoming World Cup qualifiers. And Oscar Brown gets the opportunity and he needs to make most of it. It is an absolute honour for Oscar to get the call up for the English national team. Can he score on his debut? Let's find out. Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome back to another episode of the My Player Career Mode series and today's episode is huge. It is a big moment for Oscar Brown as he finally will get the opportunity to represent England and it's a chance for him to score on his England debut which is something I'm really looking forward to. 83 rated at the moment. Last episode we got to give our acceleration a boost by two stats which is amazing and it seems like Oscar is really close to being 84 rated so hopefully by by the end of this one we can hit that 84 overall mark so of course we've got world cup qualifier games against norway and sweden we've got a bit of premier league action as well and also you guys are gonna find out who we'll be facing in the champions league's quarterfinals so if you guys are enjoying the my player career mode series let's keep the support going 1500 likes would be absolutely brilliant and if you are watching my content for the very first time do subscribe for more fifa 19 content i'll be honest guys i think we've made the player objectives like way too difficult this season because we're struggling to complete even one objective we are yet to even attempt a proper bicycle kick the good thing is we are on track to win the premier league golden boot so that's great and apart from that assist challenge should be done soon that's what i'm hoping for from distance we still need to score four times from outside the box and again the mr consistent challenge is so challenging as it should be let's see how we progress on with our player objectives in today's episode so we're not playing some random friendly games against norway and sweden these are fifa world cup qualifiers these are important fixtures that we need to try and win so again this is how the fifa world cup qualifier group looks at the moment england in the top spot with 15 points norway in second place with 13 czech republic and sweden struggling it seems like the top two teams progress on to the next round we're in a good spot though at the moment also having a quick look and seeing which of the players have performed really well for England in these qualifiers so far. Sterling with four, Marcus Rashford with four, Deli Ali with three, Harry Kane with a couple as well. Assist wise, Deli Ali and Sterling dominating with Ali having five assists and Sterling with three. Well, this is disappointing. We won't be seeing Oscar make his debut against Norway. The coaches decided to go for Harry Kane. Can't really blame him. It's an important game against Norway. Can England get the win? Yes, they can with Hudson Odoi and Loftus Cheek scoring 2 1. But guys, it seems like this is it. Oscar is going to get the moment he's been waiting for for a long time to make his England debut as he will be starting against Sweden. Gareth Soundgate has opted to, you know, give him game time against Sweden. And can Oscar Brown deliver? We know how difficult it is to make the England squad. And Oscar needs to take this opportunity with everything he's got. So here we go. This is the formation England are using for this one against Sweden. A 4-3-3 with the CDM. Ryan Sissegna playing down the left. Sterling down the right. Oscar Brown playing as the lone striker up front. Ali, Winks and Oxlade Chamberlain in midfield. We've got Luke Shaw, Stones, Lachelles and Trent Alexander-Arnold at the back with Jordan Pickford in goal. The big moment for Oscar Brown, his England debut. Let's hope it goes well. After getting snubbed again and again for the England team, it is great to get the call up and Oscar will be donning the number 9 jersey. After getting snubbed for the England team, it is a brilliant feeling to of course play for the English national team as Oscar could have his first chance. He couldn't get there and of course he's going to be wearing the number 9 jersey for his country. Could be a proper good chance here for Oscar. Turns. 
Tries to shoot, but it gets defended and well cleared by Sweden. Here goes Oscar on the attack. He's on the run. He's beaten the midfield of Sweden. Still Oscar Brown lays this one off. Goes for goal. Ah, oh, the keeper makes the save. Good attacking play though from England. So now we've got Sweden pushing forward. That's a very good turn there. Still Sweden on the attack. This looks very positive for them, but the shot is well off target. That is half time in this one and it's been a difficult game. Oscar really hasn't done much in this first half. Hopefully the second half will be different. Here we go, Oscar Brown on the attack. He's got the pace as well, releases this one. Could get it back, massive chance here. Cross comes in, oh they cleared it away. The attack was so good but the cross was awful. Oscar on the attack now brings it inside. Still Oscar Brown, this looks brilliant, goes for goal with a powerful effort and he's done it from outside the box on his England debut. It's a sensational effort and he shushes in front of the camera, kind of signifying the fact that he's been snubbed for so long for the English national team and this is what he does on his debut. A phenomenal effort from outside the box, beating the Swedish goalkeeper. I mean, look at that, no chance for him at all. And there you go, Oscar Brown scores his very first goal for the English national team. Full time and we get ourselves a 1-0 win over Sweden. Wasn't really the best of performance from us but ultimately we got the job done. Honestly, what a moment for Oscar Brown to score a goal of that caliber on your England debut. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. A key dribble as well, a goal, 9.1 match rating. This was the dream debut for Oscar Brown for England. Playing for England was a beautiful experience. Oscar got to make his debut. He scored as well against Sweden. But now it is time to get our focus back on the Premier League and even the Champions League. The first leg of the quarterfinals will be in today's episode itself. But for now, our focus is on the Premier League as we play a fifth place Southampton. Let's go out there and win. So here we go. Manchester United up against Southampton away from home at the St. Mary's Stadium. And after the international break, there may be a few tired legs, but it looks like Oscar's fully fit for this one. He's starting up front along with Lukaku. We've got the likes of Paqueta, Pogba all starting. Strong team. Let's go out there and win and hopefully we can continue Oscar's scoring record. Ogba finds Oscar Brown in a good spot, could go for goal, does go for goal and that's in brilliantly. Oscar Brown with yet another goal from outside the box. If I'm not wrong, he's on five goals this season from outside the box and we're getting really close to actually completing one of our objectives, which is massive. But this finish from outside the box was just sensational. The animation for the finesse shot was also a bit different than normal, but... As I said, he just cannot stop scoring at the moment and this, if I'm not wrong, is the fourth consecutive game in which he scored. Another goal for Oscar. This one was a beauty against Southampton. His Oscar controls the ball really well. Could be a chance to cross this one back to Romelu Lukaku. Brilliantly done and Lukaku isn't going to miss from there. The Belgian finds the back of the net and Oscar and him celebrate. 2-0 Manchester United and it's a massive goal and also an assist there for Oscar Brown. Here we go now. Oscar Brown might have an opportunity to make it. Of course, 3-0 but the keeper saves. That would have been a great goal from outside the box. Lukaku has the opportunity to make it 3-0 and he does not miss as it's Manchester United 3, Southampton 0. And that is that for this one. We continue to march towards the Premier League title with another big win. 3-0 away from home against Southampton. Sensational performance once again from Oscar as he managed to score. He managed to assist as well. A couple of key passes. 9.1 match rating. He's in great form and this is what you want to see from Oscar. Especially considering we've got Champions League action coming up soon. Okay, have a look at this back-to-back -back Player of the Month awards. That is superb. He wins it for the month of March as well. And which means we get to give Oscar Brown a plus two boost in one of his stats. So I've once again given Oscar Brown a boost in his acceleration because 74 acceleration for me just wasn't cutting it. And well, now it's up to 76, which is definitely better. And with that, Oscar has gone up in his overall to an 84 rating, which is great to see. So it is now time to find out who we've drawn in the Champions League quarterfinals. We got past Bayern 3-1 on aggregate and now in the quarterfinals we'll be up against fellow English club from London, Chelsea. As the first leg will be played at Stamford Bridge and this is going to be one hell of a game. Dortmund PSG, Juventus Atletico Madrid and an El Clasico are the remaining quarterfinal games. We've got some cracking games coming up in the Champions League. 
We are in a fantastic spot in the Premier League at the moment as we continue to dominate and that's why I decided to sit out this one against Palace. We get ourselves a 4-0 win and we're going to be playing hopefully against Chelsea. So with that win against Crystal Palace, honestly we are so close to winning the Premier League title. I think we're a game away from winning the title, who knows, but it should be wrapped up very soon. We are heavy favourites now for the Premier League title. We are nearing the business end of the season, the Champions League knockouts. This is where players make a name for themselves and so far this season's competition hasn't gone down well for Oscar Brown as he's yet to score in the Champions League and we are really hoping this will change as Manchester United go up against Chelsea. We all know what happened last season when Ajax faced Olympique Lyon. It was brutal as Oscar Brown missed a penalty and Ajax went crashing out against Olympique Lyon. Hopefully this season will be different. Chelsea versus Manchester United, two clubs with a lot of history and it's gonna be one hell of a Champions League quarterfinal. I was a bit worried about not starting this game against Chelsea because, well, Oscar was benched for that one against Bayern. But with recent form being just unbelievable, there was no way the coach was benching Oscar in such an important game. Getting an advantage in the first leg at the Stamford Bridge is going to be huge. Any sort of away goal, I think, will be massive. This is how the team lines up for us. Brown and Martial starting up front. Interesting to not see Lukaku, considering he's been good lately. Paqueta starts, Pjanic Pogba as well. O'Connor as our left back, I honestly don't know who he is. But again, very stupid from the board to sell Luke Shaw. Strong Manchester United team apart from that though. Let's go ahead and see what kind of team Chelsea are playing with. The atmosphere is just unreal for a game of this profile. I mean, look at this. Chelsea have got the likes of Marco Asensio and Golo Kante in their lineup, and I'm sure they've got Eden Hazard as well. This is not going to be easy. Probably one of the biggest games Oscar Brown has played. 2008, Oscar Brown witnessed Manchester United face Chelsea in a Champions League final. This is not quite a final, but it's still a very, very important game in the competition. Hopefully, we can see Oscar score his first goal in the Champions League this season. That is the Chelsea team we're up against. They've got Benzema as well, Manolas at the back. And on the bench, they've got some interesting players like Luis Alberto. Look at that midfield. Kante, Pasalic, Bakayoko, decent, but that attack is ruthless, man. Hazard, Asensio as well. Defence, Aspilicueta, Emerson, they've got a great team, no wonder they're here in the quarterfinals. Chelsea on the attack, I'm sure they want to be on the front foot in this one, considering they're at home. Here's Bakayoko on the ball, finds Asensio who goes for goal, we know he's got a cracking left foot, but thankfully we've got De Gea in net and he makes a great save there. It is indeed a corner for Chelsea and Golo Kante now could whip in a ball, beats one, inside to Savage. Now Manolas finds Pasalic who shoots Alder Guidel with a strong block. So far it is all Chelsea. We've been pretty terrible in this game. Baka Yoko gets an opportunity but well, his shooting is terrible. Really couldn't threaten us. Chelsea continue to attack and this is getting frustrating. Eden Hazard now down the wings. We know how good he is. Brings it onto his right foot. Still Hazard. Hazard finds Benzema. Tries to play it back to Hazard. That would have been a sensational goal. Thankfully De Gea got there first. Here's Oscar. Finds Paqueta, gets it back, releases it to Ruben Peña. This is brilliant. Manchester United with a proper good chance. No, the cross was terrible. Fred couldn't get there. That's the first half done in this one. And I've got to say, it's been a bit underwhelming from us. Chelsea have been the dominant side. I guess that was expected. They're playing at home at the Stamford Bridge. But I'm hoping for a better second half performance from us. Here goes Oscar Brown now on the attack. Pushing down the left flank. Still Oscar Brown. We know he loves to bring it onto his right foot, does exactly that, tries to finesse it and it's in! He's done it guys, he gets his goal in the Champions League as Manchester United make it 1-0 against Chelsea. It's a massive goal, it's away from home as well and that's his first Champions League goal in a Manchester United shirt and what a moment this is. Brilliant skill to bring it inside. Oscar Brown on that right foot and when he finesses it, there is just no stopping him. Beats Kepardi Zabalaga with ease. And that is just a phenomenal goal. Oscar now on the attack. Fake shot. Still Brown. Goes for goal and it's off the post. No. So close to being a sensational goal. Probably one of the best in his career in such a high profile game. But so unlucky. In the second half we've completely dominated Chelsea. Oscar Brown beats his man. Could find Lukaku. Does find Lukaku. Can he get there first? No he can't. A brilliant move though from Oscar. 
Here's Oscar. Could feed Lukaku. Does feed Lukaku. Massive chance for him to score. And he's going to score. Come on. An assist for Oscar Brown. And apart from that, a massive goal there for Romelu Lukaku. And oh, wait, wait, wait. It seems like there might be an injury problem here for Oscar Brown as he went down with the knock. Hopefully it's not anything too serious. Most importantly, it's Manchester United to Chelsea nil. We've got a 2-0 away lead. Honestly, what a result this is. 2-0 away from home. We are so close to making it to the semi-finals of the Champions League. Let's keep it going. What a performance against Chelsea. A goal and an assist and what a goal as well. The assist was superb to Lukaku. It's been a very productive episode for Oscar Brown making the England debut, playing in the Champions League and scoring your first goal of the season. 9.2 match rating for him for this one honestly guys i'm so glad it's only a bru oscar brown has suffered a bruised shoulder and will be out for the next five days honestly guys i am so happy that it's only a bruised shoulder otherwise we could be missing important games like potentially the semi-finals of the champions league thankfully it's only five days oscar will definitely miss this one against arsenal away from home which is frustrating but he should definitely be back for this one against Chelsea, which is great news. When you score a goal and an assist and win your team the game in the Champions League quarterfinals, of course you're going to get yourself a Man of the Match card. And well, Oscar gets exactly that, his very first Champions League Man of the Match card of the season. And it's 88 rated and it looks pretty good. Getting injured last time around with, of course, a dislocated shoulder injury put Oscar out of the first team for that first leg against Bayern, which was really troublesome. Hopefully with this injury, that won't happen again. Oscar has delivered in the first leg and hopefully he'll get right back into the starting 11 once he's recovered from the injury. The next episode, though, is about to be crazy. Of course, we've got Chelsea in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, the second leg. We've got Premier League games against Newcastle and Everton. And also FA Cup as we face Manchester City in the semi-finals. That is going to be a cracking game as well. It's going to be an exciting episode, that's for sure. I guess we can say it's definitely been an eventful episode. Oscar Brown made his debut for England and scored. Champions League, he delivered as well against Chelsea. Got himself injured, but he should be back for that second leg. A lot's happened. He won the Player of the Month award as well. And hopefully we can keep this kind of form going. So if you guys are enjoying the My Player Career Mode series, make sure to show your support by dropping a like on the video. Not many episodes left for the series, guys. So if you guys can, you know, show your support by subscribing and liking, that would be greatly appreciated. And yeah, that's it for this one. Hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode of the My Player Career Mode.